In this video, I will show you how to set up Alertatron to work with the TradePro 3 EMA Stock RSI and ATR script. I will not go uh, very deep into details. I will just um, show you the, the most important steps to get it working. Okay, so here is the script. And now I will go to Alertatron. When you will um, log in in your uh, account, you will have uh, this inbox here. And this is where you need to go. Uh, Alertatron is not doing uh, anything more than just reading the signals from uh, TradingView and executing the orders on Binance. So the only thing that you need to set up in uh, Alertatron is actually your API. And we will need to use that in the commands that we are going to put in uh, TradingView. Yeah, so as you can see here, Forget about this. This is uh, these are my uh, alerts. So forget about this. Don't get intimidated. You will have some uh, welcoming messages here, and here you can see the numbers, uh, the number of uh, alerts you uh, have uh, for every day. As you can see, I used two from one one fifty, which is the daily allotted uh, limit. Cool. So first thing you need to do is to go here and in manage API keys. As you can see here, you won't see the details, of course, but uh, I, when I added uh, my API from Binance, I used this name here. This name here is very important because this is the one you are going to use in your commands. So it's very important to, to remember this. So this is very simple here. You just choose whatever you want to use here. If you use Bybit or any other exchange. In my case, as you can see, I used here Binance futures, ESDM, futures contracts. Uh, this is the one, right? And you choose it from here. You give it a name, like you can even write only Binance. That, that's fine. And you, you put it here, uh, you paste in here the key and the secret that you get from uh, creating an API in Binance itself. I will not show you that. I hope you know how to do that. But in case uh, you have problems with this, please let me know in the comments and I will try to address that as well. So after you put this here, uh, in, in the case you are using testnet, you can do, uh, you can uh, check this box here, turn this on. But uh, I assume, like in my case, I, I never used this. So I just used uh, straight up uh, the, the Binance account. So after you put in all the information here, you just click add API key and you will get you will get it here right and that's all you need to do here now you just need to use this name like this is going to be the name for your exchange for all, uh, all the commands you will give to alertatron right so if we look here at common uh, examples uh, a simple command would be like this right let's say uh, you just op want to open an order you will do it this way what you see here with hashtags in the front, there are just comments. So this is not a line of code. This won't be executed. Everything, I don't know about this uh, with uh, bot because this is actually something that needs to be in every in every code sequence. So this might be, I don't know, maybe this is how Alertatron recognizes it, the code, but everything else in the code body, you can have a hashtag before just for a comment to explain what this is, As, like we can see here, right? Buy 100 contracts now. So this is just a comment. It won't execute this code, but it will execute the next line of code, right? And this comment might uh, make it easier to understand what is happening here. So this is a, a sample of code, right? Uh, I will go. You, you find here a lot of uh, documentation if you want to uh, read or watch. They have also nice uh, videos. But I will try to give you the basics that you need to just start using uh, this indicator here. So I put this here. I will leave it in the description of this video as well. Uh, as you can see here, I have this command 
uh, I have this um, code for a market order to open a long position, right? And in this case, I will target this uh, uh, pair pairing, right? So as you can see, I'm telling uh, I'm telling to Alertatron to do this. Uh, go to Binance F. This is the name I gave to the exchange to the API when I create connected it to my exchange. So uh, you need to have here the name that you will have in here, the exact name. Okay. So afterwards, the second line of code, it's just setting the leverage to one because this is what I want to use here. If you want to use a higher leverage, you can use here uh, from one to 100 or from 0 0.01 to 100. So you're free to choose whatever you want here, right? And here I'm giving the, the order to use market buy. So market, market is, this is the command that it's, it's made in Alertatron, yes? So if you want to find out more about these comments and such, yeah, this is uh, something you need to read on the Alertatron documentation. But here it's very simple. So I just, I'm just buying. I want to open a long position with side buy and amount 95% of the account. Uh, two percentages means that uh, in case you have already something in the position, uh, it will add to that position. Yeah, it's, you can use, use also maybe on, only one, but yeah, it's, it's better to have this uh, two, uh, two percentages. Uh, two percentage uh, signs and i'm using 95 percent because some people have reported uh, errors when they uh, used 100 percent so uh, it's nice to have um, uh, a margin there to be sure that the code is going to uh, work right so i tried for example I, for some uh, strategy i used leverage 2 and uh, here i used 195 and still worked which it's nice. Like, uh, if you want to be sure that is working, use this. If not, you can try to tweak it. You can try to to have more, maybe 99, 98. I don't know. I don't know if it's working or not. The closest I tried is this and 195 for uh, 2x leverage, right? Yeah. So getting back to this, very simple command, right? Just to open a position for this, uh, for almost the entire amount in the in the account, right? And uh, when 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 uh, Alertatron is getting this uh, uh, alert, is going to do just that. And to close a position, we can use this Binance and the name of uh, the the pairing here and market and position equals zero. When when uh, Alertatron gets this uh, message, is going to close all the positions. Uh, by uh, market uh, selling or buying, depending uh, your uh, your type of uh, position you have, right? And here for a short, as you can see, it's, it's similar, just that we have side sell instead of uh, buy, right? Yeah, so what do we do with this code? This code, this is the, the opening of long position. We copy it and paste it right here. We scroll down to long entry and we put it in here. Just delete everything if you have a, every, uh, something there and just paste it in, right? You put this for the long entry. You do the same for the short entry, but here you put the short code, this one, with the cell, with the side equals uh, cell. And afterwards, you put this to close positions on all uh, stops, be it take profit or stop loss, right? So you paste this here, you do the same here, and this is the same for uh, shorts and longs. So this is not different. So you just delete. I like to uh, delete everything here to be sure that it's not any uh, chunk of code from previous uh, there so yeah and now you hit ok and you are good to go after you did that i will hit cancel because i already have other um, code sequence there after you did that in order for these uh, alerts to trigger you need to create 
an alert from here. You go here and click on create alert. And here you choose the Trade Pro 3 EMA. Here it's very important to choose alert function calls only. This is very, very important. You can have or not this uh, show pop up. I like to see to get a message when it's happening. So yeah, I don't want email. And here, very important, <laughs> very important. You will find this uh, webhook in your, in your account. And here you can give this name. Let's say, like you can see, I have already there on the right side, uh, some uh, alerts running with uh, VET. Uh, let's say so BTC BUSD uh, one minute no three MAs one minute something like that and when you click here it will be created and it will start running you see it's active I will stop it and I will click on edit. So this webhook that you are going to need to have here, you need to copy it and paste it from here. You go in, uh, in this account and choose incoming alerts. When you click here, you will get redirected to a dashboard where you can just copy paste the uh, webhook, right? And you use that there. Uh, something uh, else worth mentioning about this is you can, let's see, where is this? Uh, saved and manual alerts. For example, you can use, you can test your connection to the API, for example, here by trying to see, let's see, where is this? Balance, for example. Yeah. So if you want to test to see if your API is connected and is working as expected, you can give it a name here, test, for example, and put that code sequence here. Like in my case, I have Binance F and choose pairing. I will choose BTC BUSD and balance, right? And If you turn this on to send this alert now and send or save alert, you click here. Okay, cool. Now, if you go to inbox, you will get this info here, which means that it's working. It's reading the and it's connected to the API, right? So here is my balance, my testing balance, of course. So something else which is quite important, if you go here to historical bot output, you will see these uh, commands. Here is where you can troubleshoot. If you encounter any issues, you should look here. You should look here because you will, uh, you will find the output of the error. In this case, it worked, right? But if I write something else, let me try something else. So uh test yes let's say that i want to test eth usdt yes i don't have any eth in uh, ethereum in my account so i should get an error now i i guess <laughs> let's see how is this working and if we go here uh, historical let's see yeah we can see here the message right it, i did not get any error but we can see found zero eth usd or usdt orders on the exchange right so yeah this is the output but usually like in the start i got some errors and they were with red right and uh, it's very important to use those ones when you are trying to write in uh, Discord to ask for help, right? Uh, I think I, uh, I covered the most important things. It became a little bit uh, too long than I anticipated. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope uh, this is helpful. 
don't forget to um, read the code in the description and uh, to ask for more details uh, in uh, in the comments below tell me what uh, you think uh, i should have covered and i did not so i can uh, make another video explaining better